Morning, guys. So I do get some signal this morning. Um, you know, as long as I shut off all the other parts of my computer, I just focus on this particular uh, Zoom app. I can get uh, get some decent recording going. Um, but uh, you know, Friday, twenty first of August. Um, glad that I was able to get this to work. And uh, I'm up here north of Payson, Arizona, just at the base of what they call the Mogollon Rim. Spent a lot of time in my childhood up here. I'm at my buddy Joel's place. Um, incidentally, I just happened to be lucky enough to pick up the place across the, the stream here. We'll be uh, setting something up in the future over there. But um, he uh, was generous enough to allow me and my wife to come up here and my, my two daughters. And it looks like my son and his wife will be coming up later this weekend and uh, spending a little time just getting, you know, unplugging over the weekend. Uh, but what I wanted to hit on today, I'm just looking at the, the mortgage-backed securities, how they opened. Opened up a little down on the 3%, but it came back up or we're right where we were yesterday. So that, that to me is pretty good that it, that's going to open a little bit on the lower side, but then kick back up. And we're literally matching up with our candlestick pattern from yesterday uh, so far. So I don't know how it's going to trade out through the day. We'll see how that plays out. But what I wanted to get into today. So I'm seeing a lot of contracts coming over people we've never had an opportunity to meet. A lot of people that or have not uh, checked in to see about potentially qualifying for others, uh, and then they just go ahead and start shooting contracts over. Well, sometimes there might be some things that you need to know about your file or your financial profile before going in and committing to contracts. Uh, we've had um, many folks that need rents to qualify, but then they'll buy you know five, six properties, and now we make, need to make sure all those properties are rented before we can close it. That's a big, that could be a big problem. So be sure you talk to myself, Ellen, Carla, you know, Sandra, Scotty, somebody on my team about who, how you qualify at the moment and what you can do about your next contracts. Because when we end up getting a contract in that we've never talked to somebody, we don't have a prequal on them, we're already behind the gun. I mean, it's already a week just to get the prequal done, get the file built, get all the stuff done we need to so we get that prequal done. Now we're a week into a contract. And unfortunately, everybody still thinks we're living in the world of 30-day contracts. Guys, we're scrambling to make 30 days work. Appraisers are taking a long time getting all these emails. Hey, there's others getting appraisals done faster. It happens. They could have ordered the appraisal two weeks ago for all we know. All I know is that we're running into this and to have expectations of miracles all the time is going to leave people disappointed. So I want you to know, you know, be cautious about that, jumping into something right away, unless you know for a fact. I mean, heck, some people already know. I mean, my your qualifications could be solid. If there's any margin whatsoever. If you have less than 20% down or plus 5% towards, or 5,000 towards your closing costs, prepaid items, that kind of stuff, and then another 20,000 sitting in reserve somewhere, you want to double check on it, see where you sit. Other thing, you're going to get disclosures when you get that contract in. We're going to send things to you. That's our best guess at that moment because we only have a short window of time to get that information out to you. So we can't check exactly what your title company's fees are. We can't check exactly what your taxes are, exactly what your insurance is going to be. Heck, most of the time, as you go backwards into a few episodes back about where you can jump into your deal, we even know who your insurance agency is at that point. We're guessing. So we're going to take an estimated guess. It's probably going to be high. I'd much rather be high than low. So know that everything you're getting is pure guess and that we're going to try and get you the best information we can um, as, as fast as we can. But when you get those disclosures, you're going to need to endorse them to show that you received them. It's like getting a, a traffic ticket, right? You're not by signing the ticket that the, that the uh, officer gives you, you're not admitting guilt. You're just saying you got it. It's a receipt. Same thing with these disclosures. You're getting a receipt basically showing us that you did get them. But then reach out to us. Tell us anything you have questions about, any errors that may have happened. I've had a guy recently, he was upset because his, his social security number was wrong. We didn't put it in. We don't know. We only go off of what you give us. So he's like, you guys got my social security number wrong. You got my date of birth wrong. I'm like, dude, you input that. So if you fat fingered your application, just know it's going to carry over. Um, just let us know what's wrong. We'll fix it. We'll get it corrected so everything's correct by the time that we close. So that's just uh, uh, basic information. What we have up front, we're going to continue to evolve that that file. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your suggestions. Thank you for for the feedback that I keep getting. There's a lot of people out there that are really helping me out with this by giving me good feedback on how to continue to give better information to you. And I want to just just help you become more a, more tools in the toolbox as you're working to build your investment portfolio. You know, subscribe to the channel, get the books, go to the Quit Jerking Off initiative, subscribe there. Just appreciate you guys continuing to trust us with your business, and we will talk to you on Tuesday.